Hey guys and girls, welcome to the ultimate guide to recording and mixing vocals in Cubase 10. I am John Merritt from BornToProduce.com, a Steinberg certified training center, and you are going to learn everything you need to get great vocals in your tracks every single time. So there are many moving parts to the process of getting a great final vocal sound in your track, so you're going to learn how to maximize the impact and minimize the errors at every single stage of the recording and mixing process. There are over five and a half hours of recording and mixing skills packed into 34 lessons, starting with recording theory, mic types, environment setup, positioning, and how to get the most out of your singer. Then you will learn how to set up Cubase for recording vocals, the recording modes available to you, adding reverb to the singer's headphone mix how to use cue mixes if you're recording more than one person at a time, plus a load of tips and tricks along the way to help you get the best possible outcome at the recording stage. So after you have your recording skills down, then we'll focus on post-production and the many ways in which we can tune the performance to get the absolute best possible outcome before mixing. You will learn about comping to get one great performance, how to use leftover vocal recordings to make double takes, which we'll then use later on to fasten up the vocal, how to pitch and timing correct the vocal, both in corrective and creative ways, using all of the powerful features in Very Audio 3, like formant shifting and lots, lots more. Then of course we'll move on to the all important mixing stage where you'll learn how to process the vocal using only stock Cubase plugins. There is really no magic plugin out there that does this, you just need an understanding of the tools available to you in Cubase like EQ, compression, saturation and even distortion as well as of course reverb and delay to create a sense of space in your mix. We'll also take the extra double takes that I mentioned and use them to make a vocal that's super fat and white. Now all of this would be useless if you don't get the mix right between your backing track and your vocals. So we'll cover all the theory and the practice of how to do this successfully to maintain a big vocal sound in your mixes. So lastly, you'll learn how to use the tools in Cubase to create either single one-off vocal chops to embellish a vocal performance, or even create entire sections like a new chorus out of vocal chops to make a modern sounding chopped and pitched vocal section. So that is a very brief overview of what is in this course. As I said, it's over five and a half hours long, so I'm really just scratching the surface with what is covered in the tutorial. If you are new to recording vocals or you've been doing it for a while and you're not getting the results that you want, then I highly recommend that you check it out. Thanks very much for watching, guys and girls. I hope to see you in the course.